Hi, welcome to Advanced 3. You're about to learn how to show contrast and exception. Stay and pay attention to the explanation. Clauses and phrases show an exception. Use while, unlike, and in contrast to in order to present contrasting information, especially in writing. While the typical Italian person thinks the school is boring, the typical Japanese person doesn't. Unlike the Japanese, Italians seem to drink a lot of bottled water. In contrast to Italian drivers, Japanese people drive on the left. Use except that, except for, and except for the fact that to show an exception. Both like TV, except that the typical Japanese person watches more of it. Italian and Japanese people are fairly different, except for the age they get married. Japanese people typically consume less, except for the fact they drink more tea. The conjunctions while, unlike, and in contrast to show contrast between the information in two clauses of a sentence. For example, in contrast to most Americans, people here usually live with their parents until they are married. The conjunctions except that, except for, and except for the fact show an exception. Note, when conjunctions come at the beginning of a sentence, the two clauses are separated by a comma. Okay, so as you can see today, we're, be, we're going to start looking at the contrast and exceptions. Uh, for those that are just coming in, this is advanced three. So we'll start off again, I think, uh, let's take a look here. I know that uh, because of the rain and the situation, maybe some people uh, have a little bit of difficulty connecting. My name is Edwin, and I'm going to be th the teacher during this course. So from now until the end of the month, I'm going to be teaching you Advanced 3. Um, before we begin, is there anybody that this is the first time that they're studying online? online in general or this course or this kind of course this kind of course with the inglés corporativo oh yeah my, uh, it's my first time it's your first time okay gino so you don't know you've never used the platform before i tried to access the platform during the weekend but uh, i couldn't uh, i didn't see any any courses they, i asked and they told me that uh, uh, there there weren't like a uh, <laughs> They weren't linked to my profile yet. Maybe uh, today I will check up the, after the classes. Okay. All right. Yes, you should have access to the course that I'm going to share with you in this moment, which in your case should say advanced three. So let me go back. And it should be like this. So you're going to get something that says advanced three. It's going to give you uh, four sections section one, two, three, four. We're going to do one section per week um, for the rest of the month. So at the end of the week, at the uh, last day is going to be on Thursday towards the end of the month, I believe it's July 28th. Um, in the section, the most important parts are the ones that are going to have like a little symbol where it's like a notebook, okay? These are called knowledge check. Here in the knowledge check, you're gonna see a little notebook and a pen and these are the ones where you get your grades from. So the platform evaluates your grades on these exercises. This is where you're going to, these are the things that you have to do in order to get a grade. The minimum grade is an 80. In order to pass the course, you need to get an 80. You can check your grades in the progress section. Right next to the course, you click on progress, and then you can see in order to pass, you need 80, anything above 80 is excellent grade and you pass. And you need to get that for every activities in each section, section one, two, three, and four. After every two sections, you have an exam. So that means next week you will have a test, a midterm exam from section one and section two. At the end of the month, you will have another final exam, which is section one, two, three, and four, okay? that also has to be completed before the final day. In this moment, are there any questions? Mm 
No, yes? I think we're good. Okay, good. So everyone, let's start off by being able to use the reactions. It, there are a lot of people, and if you are quiet, I have no idea if you understand or not. So one of the things are in, you can use one of the reactions. For example, if you understand, just put a thumbs up, right? If everything is clear, okay? Or maybe if you don't understand, put up a little face. That way I know that you don't understand, okay? Or if you have a question, just raise your hand, okay? All right, I see Gino and Flor got the hang of it. Still waiting for Nuri, Miguel, Doris, Roxana, Jason, and Jose Roberto. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Go ahead, put up a, a reaction. That way I know that you understand and that we can use it and you know how to use it. Perfect, all right, good Miguel, thank you. All right, Jose Roberto. Mm -hmm. The reason I mention is because I know a lot of people are camera shy. I don't know why, but people always get scared of the camera. They always, I know, I don't want to see myself. I don't want my partners to see me. I my hair, I hate my face. I don't, it doesn't matter, guys. You're here to learn English. It's not a modeling show. So don't worry about it. <laughs> the most important is that we practice speaking English. So if you want to have your cameras on, no problem. The important is that you participate and you speak. That is the most important thing for me. Okay. So, okay. great. So remember, we have four weeks. We're going to have class this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. This week, we have class Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Next week is going to be normal Monday through Thursday because of yesterday, because of the cancellation of classes, because of the hurricane. Okay. After that, everything else is just going to be normal. So let's take a look. Miguel Franco. How, what is the minimum grade to pass this course? Hey, hello, teacher. Uh, the minimum grade is uh, 80%. Correct. Very good. And Doris, when are we going to have exams? Doris. Doris. You see, that's why it's important to have your cameras on a reaction because many times people leave and they go to another place and then I don't know if they are or not here, okay? Yes, Doris is here having problems with the audios. All right, thank you, Doris. All right, Marvin, uh, when are the exams? Uh, good night, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Um, when I I I don't know, but I I know that the, is the midterm and the final exam. Excellent. All right. So the midterm is in is next week. So next week on July, I'll put it in the chat just to be clear. That way nobody else has a problem. July fourteenth, you have your midterm. That is the midterm. July twenty seventh. Okay, we have the final test. Okay. Okay. So, that way you know, and the midterm, what units are we going to be evaluated in the midterm, Gino? I'm not sure about the second one, but the first one was, uh, I think it was uh, clauses and phrases. Okay, all right. So the first midterm is going to be evaluated unit one, and unit two. So all of this week and next week, correct. We're gonna be evaluating, as Gino mentioned, clauses, what we're going to see today. And then in the final exam, uh, Doris, what are we going to be evaluated in the final exam? Doris, Doris, you there? Give me a reaction. Show me that you're present. Can you repeat the question, please? Yes, Doris. Teacher? Of course. Doris, what are we going to be evaluated in our final exam? 27th. The 20th. Okay, good. That's the final exam. And what units are going to be evaluated on the 27th of July? Number Section number three and number four. 
Yes, that is correct. But also section one, two, and three and four. Three and four. So you have all, all sections. Of, all of the sections. Okay. Next week, only sections one and two. But at the end, you get evaluated in the four sections. You get evaluated again, one and two, to make sure you don't forget, and then evaluated three and four. In okay. all of them, you need to have an average of 80. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's take a look one more time. And let's see. Uh, Jose Roberto, what was my name? Uh, good night, everyone. Uh, sorry, I didn't hear in the beginning what is your name. Sorry. No problem, Jose. Jose, remember in in English you say good night when you go when you leave. Okay. Uh huh. Good, good evening. E good evening. Exactly. All right. No problem, Jose. My name. One more time. My name is Edwin. Edwin. So I'm gonna help you guys out. We're gonna work together. The most important is in this level to push you to speak and to participate with our partners. So we'll be doing a lot of group work, a lot of exercises, a lot of activities where we go into partners and speak and then come back. Are we ready to begin or any questions before we start our English class? Flor, I got Flor, thank you Flor. I saw Gino, I saw Gino give it to me. Miguel, good, good, good. Nuri, Nuri's up and running, all right. Marvin, Marvin is like, he's looking at the camera, but he doesn't get it. Yes, Marvin, we're good. Any questions? Yes. yes. Yeah, it's clear. Everything clear. All right, let's do it then. All right, so let's begin one more time. We're going to be looking at clauses to show contrast, okay? So let's watch the video one more time for those that came a little bit late to get a better idea. Hi, welcome to Advanced 3. You're about to learn how to show contrast and exception. Stay and pay attention to the explanation. Clauses and phrases showing contrast and exception. Use while, unlike, and in contrast to in order to present contrasting information, especially in writing. While the typical Italian person thinks the school is boring, the typical Japanese person doesn't. Unlike the Japanese, Italians seem to drink a lot of bottled water. In contrast to Italian drivers, Japanese people drive on the left. Use except that, except for, and except for the fact that to show an exception. Both like TV, except that the typical Japanese person watches more of it. Italian and Japanese people are fairly different, except for the age they get married. Japanese people typically consume less, except for the fact they drink more tea. The conjunctions while, unlike, and in contrast to show contrast between the information in two clauses of a sentence. For example, in contrast to most Americans, people here usually live with their parents until they are married. The conjunctions except that, except for, and except for the fact show an exception. Note, when conjunctions come at the beginning of a sentence, the two clauses are separated by a comma. All right, so the most important today is that we're looking at these words. The words are while, unlike, in contrast to, except, except that, except for, or except for the fact that. These are all the words that we use to show things that are contrast or exceptions, okay? So, as an example, I eat all foods except eggplants. That is the one that is limited. That's the idea that is an exception. On the other hand, while most Salvadorians like pupusas, I don't. This is in contrast to the typical culture or society norms. Is that okay? Why we use those words? One more time, I'll share them and let me know if there's a word or a phrase that is not clear.
Okay, so no questions right now, right? All right, so what are we going to do in this moment? With our partners, we're gonna do two things. First, we're going to do a little bit about ourselves. So we're gonna create groups and talk about ourselves and how are you different than the people in your family, in your job or in your community, okay? As an example, um, unlike, unlike most Salvadorians, uh, I don't, I, I go to the supermarket walking. I walk to the supermarket and I shop without any bags. I never use plastic bags. It's very different. Most Salvadorians use a plastic bag when they go to Super Selecto La Despensa. Me, I don't. I take another one. I take my own, Ah, for example. Or unlike uh, my coworkers, I work very hard from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Depends you on your situation. It's okay what you're going to do? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. good. Excellent. Nuri, your face tell me like, oh, tengo una pregunta, pero what, what, Nuri, what happened? Uh, I'm a little confused. Yes, but you need to ask Nuri because I see your face, but if you don't ask, I don't know. And then you go to the groups and you don't know. So Nuri, <laughs> okay. ask me a question. Mm. Contrast at the meaning in Spanish? No, no in Spanish, but it's opposite, black and white. This is contrast. So for example, black and white, they are contrast. Uh, okay. Tall and short, tall and short. Fat, uh -huh. fat and thin, these are contrast. Opposite. opposite. Very good, thank you, Luis. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the okay. idea is, how are you, how are you different than the people around you? Maybe you are different from the church. You are different from other people in your community, from your family, from your job, from other students, maybe in the class. Think about it. Unlike many students, for example, for Nuria, unlike several of my partners, I like to use the camera when I'm in English class. That could be an example. It's okay, Nuri? Okay. All right, good. Anybody else? Any other questions? All right, then let's do it. So we're gonna make small groups. You have five minutes for your with your partners to discuss it, um, to discuss how you are different and why. Remember, not only explain I am different, Okay, why are you different? Because in a normal conversation, it's not a question and answer, it's a conversation. All right, we're ready? Five minutes. Roxy, any questions?
Okay, any questions? Any words that you didn't know? What, uh, what, are, what are the words that we, we, we should be using? In contrast, I remember that, but I don't remember the other ones. No problem. It's in your platform, 1.1 in your platform, and you can click on it. Well, the typical Italian person thing is there. Mm. These are the words. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, 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 okay. Of course. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I can also, let me take a picture of it and send it to the WhatsApp group, just in case, to make it easier. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take a look. What did you learn about your partner? How is your partner different? What did your partner say? My For partner. Example, oh, sorry, sorry, go. Yeah, go ahead, boy. Okay, and in my case, uh, uh, Edwin, uh, with I, I, we were talking with Nuri, and hey, what happened? Where is it? Another friend? Ah, uh, and Marvin, and Marvin, uh, we talk about the garden, for example, a vegetable, uh, in the group. So, uh, uh, Nuri, she, she doesn't like the the garden, and uh, Marvin, yes. The contract is uh, the flavor is a different in, 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 in our conversation. Okay, good explanation, but I want you to give me the sentence using the vocabulary. As an example, while Nuri likes uh, vegetables, Marvin doesn't. Or in contrast to Marvin, Nuri doesn't like to, doesn't have a garden. Okay. Um... Okay, and in, in our conversation, for example, on uh, the contract, uh, Marvin, uh, he, he likes uh, the garlic, while uh, and Nuri, she, she doesn't like the garlic, Marvin. Okay, more or less, that's the idea. That's the idea, good idea, Luis. Uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. uh, okay, so pretty good, we wanna use it. Uh, normally, you're gonna use it at the beginning, so you're gonna say, well, Nuri likes garlic, Marvin doesn't. For example, like that. Good, but good effort. Very good effort. All right, another person. Give me another example. Go, Gino. Uh, my partner uh, was uh, Miguel Franco, and he said, an example, uh, he said, uh, Miguel and, her, and his son like the liver. But uh, while Miguel and her son uh, like liver, uh, her wife doesn't like. Good idea. Good idea. Careful with your pronouns. Remember, because Miguel is a man, so no, her wife is his wife. Uh, and yeah. it's his <laughs> son. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Very good. All right, Roxy. Just be careful with the pronouns, but good. That's the idea. All right, Gino, give me an example. Okay, so I was partnered with uh, Rodrigo and Jose Roberto, and Jose Roberto uh, used the, the example that uh, while for Salvadorians it's like a taboo to have tattoos, he has several. Good, that's a correct. All right. All right, anybody else? Flor, you okay? You sure? sure? But I have a question for me and the, the example for Miguel. All right, uh, ask Miguel a this, question. Uh, 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 yeah, in, in this example, uh, Miguel used while, but it's indifferent if you use while or unlike. Uh, it's correct both in, in this sentence or it's more appropriate unlike? The three are for, correct. For, I'll help you out. So in the case, I'll help you, Roxane. So you can use the three, the same meaning, while, oh. unlike, or in contrast to. And it's going to be the three are the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Let's take a look. All right. All right, Flor, look at the sentence in the chat. Tell me, is that correct or not correct? In contrast to los chalotecos, chalotecos wear sweater. I think it's correct. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's good. It, the idea, the usage of the vocabulary is correct. That's it. In contrast to, and then that's it. Whatever the people, the other, and then what the other people or group does. Perfect. All right. So we're ready for our next, our next section. Yay. All right, guys. I love your energy. I love it. That's right. I'm feeling the vibe. That's right. Bonnie, who cares, Bonnie? Woo -woo. That's right. Let's do this. All right. So let's go on to our next part. Our next part is here to 1.2. It's to make sure that we have it correct. So with our partners, we have two parts. We have part one and we have part two. So in part one, we need to select which is the best word to complete the sentence. In part two, we're gonna be using which one is used to connect the sentence. So in each of these, which conjunction is used? That's the right one. So take a look, what are they using? Uh, what is the word that is the conjunction are the things that join them, like unlike, while, in contrast to. That's just the name of it, all right? So the same thing, five minutes, it's only to go, it's to do our work, not to, uh, mm, no, 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 no. We go because we know, all right? Let's make some new groups, meet some new partners, make some new friends, and let's do it again. Mm -hmm. Roxy, you okay? All right. Hi, how typical are you? To find out, complete this profile. Then share your answers with your class. Are you typical? I have never shopped online. I eat breakfast every morning. I have a full or part-time job. I have visited a foreign country. I use public transportation. I keep a daily personal diary. Now look at these adjectives, verbs, and phrases. Put them in the right column below, then share your answers in class. Should I just go with the flow? Adjectives, amenable, conservative, non-conformist, rebellious, and conventional. Verbs, accept, conform, conform to, confront, rebel, rebel against, stand up, stand up to, stand up for. Phrases, be your own person, challenge the status quo, fit in, follow the crowd, make waves. Now on your notebook, make a chart similar to this one and write the adjectives, verbs, and phrases under the right column. Jose, did you have any problems? I just, I just uh, log out from my phone and, and then I, I log in from a computer, but I think so you are in, in in rooms, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. I, no problem. I can send you to a room. Let's take a look.
All right, let's do it. Who's got number one? Who can give me number one? Uh, the number one is literacy. People here usually live with their parents until they get married. Okay, all right, good. Who's number two? Letter A. Go ahead, uh, Doris, read the sentence. You like the average American student? Students here study either in the morning or the afternoon. Okay, good. Pronunciation is unlike, unlike, and the pronunciation is either. Let me listen, Doris. Say the words. Unlike, mm -hmm. either. Good, excellent, Doris. All right, number three. Who's number three? Teacher. All right, do it. All right. In contrast to most American people here, don't usually have more than one TV. Okay, good. So what was the first conjunction? What was conjunction in, num in sentence number one? While. While, okay, good. What was the conjunction in sentence number two? Unlike. Unlike. Good. And in sentence number three? In contrast. contrast. Okay. In contrast. All right. So let's take a look and see how well we did. Okay. Excellent. So we have all of the conjunctions, while, unlike, and in contrast. And all our, our answers are correct. Very good. Any questions? What happened the two and the in contrast? Why not use it to? In number two. I'm sorry, number three. Number three said in contrast. Uh -huh. What happened the two? Let's in see. contrast to. And the theory said in contrast to. The theory. Uh, so here, in contrast to. Uh -huh. Americans. Ah, uh, yes. Always you're going to. It's in contrast. And we're going to use. Ten, we tend to use the word. Two, almost always with in contrast. Uh, but when people speak, they usually just say in contrast. Uh, so if you have a conversation, you say, oh, in contrast, my mother doesn't allow me. You don't have to use the word two. So two is only necessary in some cases, but in contrast is necessary in all cases. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. That's why it's there. In contrast is always necessary, Two is usually, but not always necessary. Okay, great. I have a I have a question. Would it yeah. be uh, it would be wrong if we use uh, the conjunction uh, to the, the yeah the, the uh, to 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 use the in contrast to? Would it be wrong or 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 do you have to use only in contrast? Depend the next word. So if in, in you're going to specify somebody or an action, then you're going to use two. In contrast to Americans, that it's not a problem. When it's possessive is not normal. Okay. So possessives, for example, in contrast, my teacher speaks very quickly. But if you say in contrast to, then yes. In contrast to him, it's not a problem. You use him as an object, but not as a possessive. That's usually where you're going to have a little bit of difference. All right. Anybody else? Any other questions? No? All right, great. So right now there's a little link in the chat for everyone. It's going to help you with our next topic. The next topic we're looking at is seeing how common or how usual you are compared to other people. So let's take a moment here and read. The first part is Oscar. Oscar, can you please read the objectives for this lesson? Okay, um, in this class sec sec section, Participants will be able to talk about the typical students 
in the class and practice the grammar lessons as well as, the, as to learn and practice using adjectives, verbs, and phrases relating to accepting things as they are or making change. Okay, good. Now, Oscar, I see that you're doing a very good job, but remember to pronounce the final sound, changes. Okay. okay. Here, changes, and here also the same, participants and adjectives. So you, ha you have to be careful, Oscar, because I listen and you, you forget to mention that S yes, the S at the end. So be careful with your S's, but okay, good thanks. job. Good job on the pronunciation. So guys, we're going to look at how typical are you? Are you a typical person, a typical Salvadorian, a typical things? That's what we're going to take a look at. First, before we go to that, have you ever watched Ellen Degenerate? Have you ever watched the Ellen show? I, I like the Ellen show. Have you ever watched the Ellen show? Yeah. Just a few clips on TikTok and YouTube. Okay. Have you seen, have you ever seen the Ellen? They have a paddle and on the paddle it's, uh, I have, I have never. I have, I have never. Have you ever seen that one? Yeah. Well, that's what you're going to be doing today. Today, you guys are going to be on the Ellen show and you're going to be talking about I have or I have never. In the chat, you're going to see the link for have you or have you not. So you're going to have a question. Take a look at the question. So, Oscar, ask me one of the questions from the have you ever. Have you ever been in the, in Ireland? In Ireland? No, in Ireland. Ah, in Italy. Uh, no, I have never. How about you, Oscar? No, I don't. No, I, I haven't. Don't. No, I haven't. Go. Exactly. So we're going to play. Oscar asked me one question. I asked him another one. So now I'm going to ask everybody in the class. Okay. Uh, have you ever cheated on an exam? You guys can use the reaction if you want, or you can tell me. Hey, Gino, I love the honesty. I love it. Miguel, I love it. Tell me. Hey, I see Flor laughing, and but I don't see yes or no. Flor, Flor be honest. Yes. Yes. Nuri? What? Look at Nuri. What happened, Nuri? What? What? You never cheat on an exam, Nuri? Be honest. Nuri? Nuri? God is watching you. He's there. Look, look. He, he, hey. What happened, Nuri? No, teacher. <gasps> I'm honest. Really? <laughs> yes. Mm, I don't know. What do you think, Marvin? Do you believe Nuri? It's hard to believe. Teacher. It's hard to believe, Nuri. Yeah. Never cheated on an exam. Hmm. Mm, Nuri. we're gonna find out but that's the idea of the game guys so you and your partners and then you try to find out if the person answers yes ask more questions ask them if they have or they haven't so first let's watch a small video and then we're gonna play the game with our partners we got the idea okay yes great as you notice i didn't ask the question in order you can ask any question the questions are there only to help you guide you it's not fixed it's your questions it's your class if you want to change the question, change the question. It's whatever you like. All right? All right, let's watch the video and then let's do the work. Hi, how typical are you? To find out, complete this profile. Then share your answers with your class. Are you typical? I have never shopped online. I eat breakfast every morning. I have a full or part-time job. I have visited a foreign country. I use public transportation. I keep a daily personal diary. Now look at these adjectives, verbs, and phrases. Put them in the right column below, then share your answers in class. Should I just go with the flow? Adjectives, amenable, conservative, non-conformist, rebellious, and conventional. Verbs, accept, conform, conform to, confront, rebel, rebel against, stand up, stand up to, 
stand up for. Phrases. Be your own person. Challenge the status quo. Fit in. Follow the crowd. Make waves. Now on your notebook, make a chart similar to this one and write the adjectives, verbs, and phrases under the right column. All right, guys. That part we're not going to do because I think it's boring and I'm the teacher, so I can change it. That's the great thing. And I'm going to change it and we're going to practice a little bit more about talking about how are you with your partners. We're going to create new groups and we're going to play the game I have or I have never. Okay. So you have many questions. We're going to just have a few minutes. Remember, if your partner says yes, the important is to get more information. What happened? Where did it happen? Who did it happen? With? That is your job to ask the additional questions. That's going to be the part that's going to help you speak more. We're ready? Any questions before we begin? All right, let's do it. Hey, Vanya. Can you hear me, Vanya? Yes, teacher. Sorry for the time, but I'm sick. No problem, Vanya. So let me share with you a link. And from that link, it's going to help you to ask and answer partners to your questions. All right. Okay, I'll send you to a group and then that way you can practice. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Ivania. Thank you for making the effort of coming. Yes.
Hey, Vanya, what happened? I leave their room, teacher. I don't know why. Okay. I was in room five. Okay, let's try again. No problem. Okay.
All right. So what did you learn? Anything surprising about your partner? Have you ever? I have never. Yes, we have talking about it about um food. <laughs> oh, I, I, I was thinking in a horse, but because we had horse food. Hey. <laughs> we were talking with oh, Gina oh, and oh. Flor, and she said that she eat a uh, box. <laughs> box. Uh, it's, box. No, it's false. It's false. Uh, ah, it's okay. True. I said, well, hey, That's not but the truth. you gotta not try true. everything once. All right, Lord, maybe she, go for she, it. Well, she ate um, carne de chucha. Carne de chucha. Oh, right. oh, okay. Desvio 51, right? You didn't know. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. It's very <laughs> famous for for the dogs for dog meat in that area. Yes. I don't think I don't think it's true, but that is the the rumor, right? It's true. It's true because if you see in the street, with uh, they don't have the uh, dogs. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they say. That's what they yes. say. Mm -hmm. All right. I, but you know what? I, did any of you ever eat at Biggest? Did you eat at Biggest? Uh -uh. So then it's true. You ate, you ate horse meat. Horse meat. Oh, really? Yes. Really? Why? That's why Biggest closed. Biggest oh, closed I didn't because, know that. Biggest closed because when they inspected Biggest, and they check the meat, they, they take a sample from the restaurants and in the sample of the meat was horse meat. That's why the biggest close, they, they couldn't pay, they had to pay the fine, they had to close for unsanitation for using the meat, ah, but, it, but don't worry, it's time for us to finish, but tomorrow we continue the conversation. So guys, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You can check on Twitter and internet or Google, yeah. Biggest had horse meat, it's true. But many times ago. Yeah, 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 but you know. Right now, no. No, now, no, but it's okay. Oh, okay. But you ate, okay. but you ate horse meat. It's no problem. Yes, maybe. Meat is meat. You don't know. Cook like chicken, no problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed your first day. I hope you connect tomorrow. And thank you so much for participating. And I know it's very hard sometimes to be here on time, but try to be here on time and we'll continue tomorrow. Okay. okay. See okay. you guys Thank tomorrow. You. Bye. 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 Bye.